Welcome home, Bright Light. I see you. Yes, you, sister. I'm Janine Yoder. My community just calls me Jay. My clients call me Coach Jay. And my husband calls me Sweet Sweet. But we'll keep that one for him. I'm a master life coach and mentor, totally in love with helping creatives, leaders, and coaches, aspiring and established, find their unique zone of genius and take the stage with their message. Translation, I help women from Nigeria to New Jersey get in touch with their world-changing gifts, use really simple techniques to be more captivating on stage, and run soul-centered business that makes serious cash. I'm so excited to connect with you, and I really believe Synchronicity brought you here with a purpose. So let's get to know each other and find out what that miracle may be. The first way to do that is to be willing to receive a few gifts from me. Can you handle that? On the homepage of JanineYoder.com, right under the photo of me dancing, you can introduce yourself. And when you do, you'll get instant access to start creating the same morning ritual I use before every coaching session, every onstage speaking event or performance, and just to prepare for my daily life. Designing and implementing this ritual is what took me from lost and broke, from a family lost in addiction, to truly empowered, happy in love, and making six figures in a business I truly adore. It's yours totally free, and you'll get an email from me for the next three days helping you take your first steps. I'm so excited to go on this adventure with you. If you want to have some fun and get to know each other a little bit and maybe learn some of the challenges I faced growing up, also I'd love to show you my silly side. So you can read all about this in the About Me section of my website where you'll find a place to connect with me and witness me make a fool out of myself teaching you the stink face. This is my favorite technique for having more fun and embracing humility. It even helped me land my very first Broadway show. If you feel called to coach, but worry you're too young or not ready, you are exactly where you need to be. I don't believe in age restrictions on living your purpose. The desire to equip others with the tools and strategies they need to find more bliss and fulfillment is totally enough. You just need support and training to discover a coaching style that's all your own. I would know I've been running my life coach practice since I was 24. And I've teamed up with 12 celebrity coaches, the industry's young thought leaders, to bring you all the tools you need to be a great coach and exclusive insights from these coaching rock stars so you, they can help you run your business with rapid ease. So check out Mentor Masterclass if you are thinking about becoming a coach or you want to take your coaching business to the next level. You can also check out Work With Me if you want help preparing for your next onstage event. I've got a few tricks, tips, and insights from over 18 years on Broadway up my sleeve after years of being in the industry and studying what it takes to be an onstage performer. I want to help you captivate your audience, make your message super clear, have them begging for more of you, and leave inspired by your message. Now, do you have time for a little story? If you're interested, keep listening, and I'll tell you how I went from drug deals with daddy in the hood to a young life coach on the cover of the New York Times. This is my road to coaching. I was born in sunny Long Beach, California, but my childhood was truly far from glamorous. Both of my parents struggle with drug addiction. They went into recovery for the first time when I was eight, and my earliest memories mostly involved standing on the side of the freeway with my dad and sis, and in on Narcotics Anonymous meetings, learning about the 12-step program. I can pretty much recite all the literature from memory. Nope, not an ideal scenario. But that California sunshine must have slipped an extra spark of positivity into my soul because it seemed from an early age I always understood every challenge was cradled in a blessing. The recovery community taught me the meaning of transformation and the importance of vulnerability when it comes to making authentic connection. I saw in real time how much work it takes to make shifts that last and how important it is to share that journey with others. Before I hit my teens, I was training myself as a catalyst for permanent change. I coached my mom and dad as they weaned themselves off their favorite poisons, 
I actually used a calendar timeline with them before I even graduated third grade. I asked a lot of questions and spoke to everyone who would hear me out about what it means to be happy, healthy, and successful. When financial and institutional things forced me to switch schools eight different times, I pushed myself to make the most of every new place and learned to embrace humility. It taught me to be social, flexible, firm in my self-confidence, and find friends wherever I went. However, while I was really trying to make the most of the cards I'd been dealt, deep down I had a big magical dream. I wanted to perform on stage for thousands of people, and I loved to sing and dance and act. Unfortunately, from where I was standing, without a safety net, support from my parents, connections, or anyone I could really count on, it just seemed impossible. And to top it off, in junior high and early high school, I weighed 155 pounds and I was only 5 foot 3. It was really difficult getting cast in leading roles with a muffin top. But I did have one critical weapon in my arsenal. My years of sitting in on counseling and support group meetings had taught me the most important truth about success. Keep putting one foot in front of the other and you will get there. So that's exactly what I did. And eventually I made it all the way to Broadway. By 21, I had lost 30 pounds, was living in New York City, performing on the world's most prestigious stages. I'd gone from ex-drug dealer's daughter to paying my way through musical theater school and moving to the big city all on my own. I was on TV, movies, and entertaining sold-out audiences. It was as if I'd arrived, finally. But had I really? Unfortunately, it wasn't all roses and applause. Is it ever? Despite my high-profile gigs, I really wasn't happy. I was having trouble making ends meet with the ups and downs of the industry, and my world felt split in two. Half was bright lights and standing ovations and lots of creativity, and the other half was moonlighting and struggling as a waitress. It was a tough time for me because I'd worked so hard to get where I was, only to realize I still wasn't happy even when it seemed like I should feel at the top. I was devastated. What was wrong with me? Was I nuts? Nope, not even a little. In fact, I'd never been more lucid. I was only just waking up to my life's true purpose. And while I absolutely love to perform, and I totally still do, I realized something. I wanted to make an impact on people's lives. Magic happens on the stage, but miracles happen in real life. And I realized if I could make it out of my family ecology and make dreams come true, anybody could. For years, I'd been giving friends advice on making huge leaps in their lives and building their dreams into reality, and it came so naturally to me, I barely even noticed the pattern. But now, I couldn't ignore it. My soul was calling out to me, and I knew I had to listen. So I poured all my savings into getting every bit of training I could. I was finally stepping into my natural zone of genius and living with intention, and it felt so good. And on a fairy tale note, I met the love of my life and finally let myself accept the happily ever after I never thought I deserved. Suddenly, I was paying attention to the invitations life was sending me. I was looking for resources and keeping my eyes on the prize while I worked my ass off. And the results were almost unbelievable. Opportunities fell into my lap. I was attracting amazing clients. I developed a signature coaching method people started to fall in love with called RSVP, Invite to Your Life. I made the cover of the New York Times. I started a mentorship program, Mentor Masterclass, to help fellow young coaches in waiting get everything they needed to follow their dreams of being a successful coach and making impact on the world. But best of all, I knew I had finally found the reason I had faced the challenges I did because each darkness pushed me towards the light. Which brings us to the here and now. I work with heart-centered women who want to get in touch with their world-changing gifts, take the stage with your message, and run soul-centered businesses that make serious cash. Yes, 
That means you, sister. And I'm here to show you how to start living like you're actually alive. And yes, it's okay to want to make a generous income. Absolutely no need to apologize. So if you've ever caught yourself wondering, do I have what it takes to become a life coach? Where can I learn how to coach people for real? Will I ever be captivating in front of an audience? What if I could be my own boss, make my own hours, run a successful business that actually creates meaningful impact, and make a generous living? How can I expand my message to larger, larger audiences with less fear and more embodied ease? I feel called to help people on a deep level, on a healing level. Am I too young to be a leader? These were all the thoughts that went through my mind before I made the big leak. And know this, my gorgeous friend, these aren't just run-of-the-mill internal dialogues. They're keys. Keys to understanding what your heart wants and finding it in abundance. Keys to unraveling your fears and pushing past them. Keys to living a fabulously fulfilled life, driven by purpose and steered by strong, firm intentions. The best thing about these keys, they open doors, your doors, to powerful possibility, clarity, and the destiny you deserve, even if you're not sure what that looks like yet. That's why uncovering your soul-supported answers changes everything. All you have to do is go for it. I've helped hundreds of women across the world cross that threshold, and I know it's your turn. That's why you're here. That's why we've been connected. So if you're ready to come out of your shell, trust your intrinsic truths, and go after what you want, if you're ready to get fully equipped with the tools you need to clearly understand your purpose and live it fully, if you're ready to step into your spotlight fearlessly, you're in the right place. Because when you're confidently standing in your light, magic unfolds. Sound like your kind of lifestyle? I totally thought so. Let's play. There are a number of ways you can get started working with me through one-on-one -on -one coaching, virtual co courses, and my coach's training program, Mentor Masterclass. And there are lots of free gifts and exclusive valuable content I've created for you that is only shared on my website and with my community. It would be my honor to show you the way. So right at the top of JanineYoder.com, you can enter your name and email to join my community and get that morning ritual. If you're ready to become a life coach, check out Mentor Masterclass link. It's on the right side of the home page. And you can also go to www.mentormasterclass.com. You can opt in there and you'll get instant access to interviews I did with some of my friends and colleagues who happen to be the most powerful and up-and-coming thought leaders, as well as listen in on two free live Mentor Masterclasses. Also, you can listen in on me leading a community call and many other free resources that are on my free resource page. And if you're ready for a fierce belly laugh, don't forget to log into my exclusive stank face tutorial. Check out Work With Me if you want to get one-on-one -on -one attention on your next onstage performance or if you're having challenges in your coaching business and you want my support. You can also check out virtual programs if you're ready for a baby step toward manifestation and purpose where you can get started on those today. Please don't forget to introduce yourself and tell me how I can support you. I'm here for you and so excited to be a co-creator for helping you breathe your message into the world. To sum it all up, here's what I know for sure. Purpose equals power, period. Fear is a soul sucker. Learn to conquer it and you'll set yourself free for life. Once you embrace your intuition, your wisdom, there's nothing you can't be, do, or accomplish. Everything you need to discover your life's mission lies just under your surface, waiting to be discovered. You just need to ask the right questions. When you play to your strengths and pursue what you really want, you inspire other women to share and shine. It's a gorgeous ripple effect. And when every woman embraces her gifts and enjoys a life of meaning and clarity, the world will know peace. The road to your destiny starts right here. All you need to do is take the first step. 
then the next. Just focus. Just breathe. Just begin.